Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, I really appreciate everybody making a little time to watch the video. And today we're going to be talking about just some stuff you need to know about bass fishing. Now, we could uh, talk for weeks on this because there's so much stuff everybody needs to know about bass fishing. All of us, myself included. But I'm just going to sort of have a little, a little random conversation about some stuff you need to know about bass fishing. And we may make this a regular. We may do the regular column on this. So that would be an interesting deal. But anyway, just getting ready for an on-the-water lesson tomorrow on Stockton Lake. And by the way, anybody interested in booking an on-the-water lesson with me, just shoot me a private message on my Facebook page, Randy Blockett Professional Angler, and I'll give you all the info on that. So anyway, guys, let's talk a little bit about random stuff you need to know about bass fishing. Um, the first thing is that... Um, you know, you hear people talking about, well, the bass, they're just not biting today, or they're really biting today, or they're tearing it up today. Guys, bass are always biting. There's not a single day of the year that the bass do not bite. They're always biting. They're always hungry to some degree. Um, that Knowing that it should give you a lot of uh, peace in your mind, knowing that it's just a matter of figuring it out, because that's that's ultimately what it is. The puzzle in bass fishing is once you understand that the bass are always biting and they're always going to get caught, is you just have to figure it out. And bass fishing is basically a game of elimination. It's a uh, you're it's it's like I don't care really what your skill level is in bass fishing, you're going to catch fish eventually. It just how long it's going to take. It may it may take you ten minutes once you get out on the lake, or it may it may take you five years to figure out how to catch them. But it's just it's a matter of time, and that's one of the things that you should realize. Another thing with that is that um, there, one of the reasons that I say that bass fishing is the most difficult sport in the world is there's so many different variables of controlled variables and uncontrolled variables. And that's why it's so easy to have bad days on the water. I mean, I, we all have bad days on the water. I don't care who you are, you know, you're going to have bad days on the water. Um, it's just part of the game you sort of have to accept that as, as part of fishing plus it really makes you appreciate the good days that you have but the main thing about that is that don't stress out about it and just keep that in the back of their mind that the bass are always biting you just have to figure out you know the technique they want you have to figure out the area you have to figure out the presentation um, you have to have a set of those variables come together now the thing that's great about that is you don't necessarily have to have everything come together at one time to catch fish. Um, you may be in an area that's uh, got a lot of fish in it, but you're not throwing the right bait. But if you're in an area that's got a lot of fish in it, you may still catch some fish even though you're not throwing the right bait. Or you may be in an area that doesn't have very many fish in it, but you may have the bait that they want and you catch fish on it. So uh, from that standpoint, you know, bass are just super, super unpredictable and uh, there's no guarantees out there. Um, the next thing, stuff you need to know about fishing is timing. Timing is so critical in catching fish. I don't care if you're fishing a pond, a river, a stream, a lake, whatever. Timing is crucial because in bass fishing, what you're gonna find guys is there, there are windows of during the day where the bass uh, tend to feed more than other times of the day. And unfortunately, I, in my, it's my opinion that, that most that bass feed primarily at night. They're opportunistic, and the thing about that is that you know you can catch fish that are not hungry if you capitalize on some of their other instincts that cause them to bite a lure. Things like curiosity, um, anger, competition, reflex, all that type of stuff. That's normally how you catch a fish. You don't normally catch bass because they're hungry. You catch them because they're they're opportunistic. But one of the things that I found out about timing is that if you get an area where everything seems right, say you, say you find uh, a stretch of bank that just looks perfect, it's got the, wa the right water clarity, it's got the right cover on it, and you see bait fish in the area, maybe you even see bass that are busting shad or something, you, say you pull up in an area that's just got a lot of life in it. If you roll through there at 9 o'clock in the morning and don't get a bite, you know, don't get discouraged because you may come back through there at one o'clock in the afternoon and the fish are feeding. So one of the things that you have to do, and this is one of the more difficult things because it takes time on the water, is you have to figure out what those bite windows are. And that really the only way that you can figure out what a bite window exists is by spending like multiple days on the water. That's why guys that fish more, got, you know, people that guide, 
the people that really are on the water a lot, they can really determine what those bite windows are. And those bite windows change uh, based upon seasonal patterns. But one of the things to remember is um, timing is everything. And the more that you learn about timing and are aware of it, the more you're gonna be able to take advantage of that. And we'll do some more videos. Uh, we'll do some timing videos at some point, but just remember that in correlation with the first thing I talked about, about um, bass are always biting. A lot of, a lot of the, the, the thing about bass biting is timing. And uh, the next thing we'll talk about a little bit, stuff you need to know, or, or wrap it up here real quick, is uh, weather. Weather, guys, is such a gigantic factor in catching fish or not catching fish. Um, one of the things that I would suggest is that you guys sort of become amateur meteorologists because most of the really good bass anglers that I know really study the weather a lot. They study the effects that the weather has on fish and um, there's a lot to it. There's a, there's, weather has such a, a complex effect on fish, whether they bite or not, that um, it's a lifelong process of learning because what you have is you have different weather patterns that come in and then those weather patterns affect lakes differently because um, depending upon the characteristic of the lake, a weather pattern will affect uh, one lake different than the other. It'll affect lakes different at different times of the year. Um, it'll affect, you know, different environmental conditions. Say for example, if you go to your favorite lake and the lake is abnormally low, say it's, say it's 10 feet below normal, um, that is going to have a different effect. The weather is gonna have a different effect on that lake than say if your lake was flooded out and it was 10 foot high, 10 feet over normal. So being a student of the weather and really determining and figuring out what are the optimum conditions um, is gonna, you're gonna go a long way with it. And one of the things that you'll find out about weather is that every part of it plays a role in the bass biting. The wind, the sunlight, the clouds, the sunlight intensity, the direction of the wind, the parametric pressure, um, approaching fronts, passing fronts, um, you know, the type of cloud, you know, whether it's a cumulus cloud or a cirrus cloud or a thick overcast, the angle of the sun as far as the time of the year, uh, because the sun angle has different intensities that throws out different light levels at different times of the year. So there's a lot of factors involved with that. So um, anyway, guys, just to reiterate, just a little quick little video here. Um, some stuff you need to know about fishing is that the bass are always biting. Keep that in the back of your mind. Um, timing is everything and weather plays a huge impact on it. Now, you know, like I said, we'll expand on these topics a lot as, you know, moving forward in the future, but just wanted to throw out there that for a little bit for today's video. So thanks for tuning in guys. And if you hadn't had a chance, I'd like to invite everybody to please subscribe to the video. We're really pushing hard to hit that hundred thousand mark. And we got a really gigantic giveaway coming up on a hundred thousand subscribers. So just have to be subscribed to have a shot at that. So much appreciated. We'll talk later.